I have never played a roguelike in my entire life. But like so many other gaming genres, slap a Pokemon logo and a Pikachu on top of it, and now my interest is peaked. So when I found out about the existence of a Pokemon roguelike where each individual run is a unique opportunity to collect eight gym badges and defeat the Elite Four with limited resources and branching paths, I was hooked. It was time to apply my existing Pokemon knowledge to a genre I'd never explored before, which has been pretty successful in the past. So just like that, I was ready to hop into my very first roguelike adventure where the first big decision was still very Pokemon. We got Doduo, Clampearl, which could go kind of hard, or Skarmory. Uh, I think we're taking Skarmory. <laughs> Clearly the best option. What are we feeling? I like bird up with absolutely no prior knowledge of how this game works I dove face first with my newly acquired metal bird totally unaware of what lay ahead the answer Well more decisions. We got a couple of routes to choose from I don't know what any of these mean average chili or average rugged. Uh, I don't know what those guys are. I finally built up the courage to hop in and take on my first route. My immediate course of action would be filling out my team with more members, as this game has permadeath baked into it. So catching additional teammates to accompany our bird up was of utmost importance. Spinarak? I'm, I'm killing that thing immediately. You're, ooh, Sviper. Okay, so I guess we're just looking at a lot of poison type Pokemon. We'll get a Sviper. I'm definitely not taking Spinarak, but Sviper is going to be pretty good early game. Sudowoodo, my goat. I love Sudowoodo. We're taking him. I felt all of our new blood was perfect because their single stage evolution stats would be great for the early game and then I could easily replace them with Pokemon who have much higher upside as my run progressed. Oh, just like this guy. A Ghastly. Okay, let's try and get one. So we, we caught everything except for a Spinarak, which honestly I think I'm fine with. Managing your Pokemon is one thing in Pokemon Rogue, but equally as important as managing your money and items. This would be the first roadblock where I had to make the choice of wanting healing items, TMs, and Pokeballs, or do I want to strengthen my current party by getting access to held items, nature mints, and move tutors? Well, I still don't know who is who by this point, so I'll just go with the guy that I recognize. With that, I was fully geared up to fight the first gym leader of the run. The order of the eight leaders in this gym is randomized between all of the Hoenn gym leaders. So you could, in theory, get one up first and Roxanne very last, but in my case, it was... Dear God. Well, let's just hope none of her Pokemon have overheat. Like I mentioned earlier, having these single stage Pokemon at this point was perfect for the early game. So Sudowoodo should deal with this fight, no problem. All right, Sudowoodo, show us. Just don't crit me. Okay, we're fine. Magby, he's got this. Fire spin, we eat those. Oh, he's got a berry. Oh, shoot, okay. Now, now we got heightened special defense. All right, we gotta win it on this turn. Oh, oh, easy clap. I told you, I told you, it's just a goat. One gym badge down. Hey, this isn't too bad so far. I still don't know like 90% of this game's mechanics, but it can't get that much harder, right? Right? Tough course route, what does that even mean? All of these branching paths are so confusing. <sighs> you know what isn't confusing though? Fixing your diet with HelloFresh. Long gone are the days where you'd have to navigate various treacherous paths just to get to the store and fumble around in the hopes that you've got everything you need for your recipe. HelloFresh makes mealtime easy with delicious recipes that are delivered straight to your doorstep. They do all the meal planning ahead of time with pre-portioned ingredients, foolproof recipes, and convenient doorstep delivery. Now you can get great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of your home. It makes it really easy to get dinner on the table whenever I'm in a bind. And much like in this roguelike adventure, money is a limited resource, and with the cost of groceries going up and up, now is the perfect time to get started with HelloFresh. It's cheaper than grocery shopping, 25% less expensive than takeout, and up to 70% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. I've been enjoying HelloFresh with my family for months now, and it's allowed me to really expand my horizons when it comes to cooking. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGKIDMAR60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Neat! 
Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember that thing I said about single stage Pokemon being great for the early game, but easily replaceable? Hey, look, a Bagon. That's pretty good. I will be sure to cherish this Pokemon with all my heart as he not only embodies a powerful Salamence to be, but it also carries with it the weight of our comrade we left behind so that he could join us on our journey. I will be sure that nothing bad ever happens to you, Begon. Ooh. A game show. That sounds fun. And he's gone. Well, such is the way of the gamble. Uh, you know, just one more wouldn't hurt. Cool, a Nito King. I guess it'll all work out in the end. Might as well spend the rest of my run trying to turn this Nito King into an absolute beast to make sure this was all worth it. So with our two brand new team members, it was time to take on our next gym challenge. And when I realized who I would be up against, I knew exactly what I had to do. You know what? I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh yeah, this is how you do it, baby. This is how you set up the sweeps right here. <laughs> it's too easy, guys. And this is what he deserves. This is what you get for having that stupid Kingdra that sets up double teams on everybody. You had this one coming. He finally gets through, just don't get crit. Don't get crit. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Just keep going. <laughs> you know what, while we're here, <laughs> we might as well just cover some of our bases, right? We are we are really risking a lot, but you know what? I, I believe. I believe in the Meditite sweep. And now we kill it. Bop. Okay, Sfeel? That's totally fine. Easy money. All right, Quillfish? Oh, uh, we might be dead here. We might be dead. Unfortunate. <laughs> I, I didn't want to use healing items. I was just going to risk it. That one's fully on me. Well, now that's actually pretty bad. Look, I might have gotten just a tad overconfident, and I'd gotten very used to not using items in Pokemon games. But it's a different beast when they are a much more limited resource that you have to balance carefully. So I actually think it makes the run more interesting if I add in another element that I have to play around. So for the Pokemon roguelike, I am turning the item on. However, with my first in battle death, it was time to find a replacement. And somehow this led to me finding God? I think <laughs> What? What in the world? You're joking. Of course. It, it never <laughs> Well, now I have to take this, right? Oh, I didn't want to throw a heavy ball, but well, it, it, it kind of fits. He's got a ball on top of his head. He can go into the heavy ball. Listen, I realized that Ralts was probably the better option here, but am I really going to pass up the opportunity to use a shiny? Oh, and I replaced the pine coat we received from the creepy old man with a brand spanking new Lapras. The team was really starting to take shape, especially since we added a god. And then 30 minutes of theory crafting and team building later, we swept Winona in four turns. See ya. Yo, when does this game start to get hard? We're fine, we're fine. We eat those. Oh, that is unfortunate. The sand attack? <laughs> yeah, I've never, oh, oh, well, 07 bird up. Sorry that our starter just died. Oh no. Oh, now we're in bad shape. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> well, God let us down. Dude, how does he not ever miss? He cannot miss. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal up and let's let's just scout out and see what it goes for here. Uh, I think we, do we only have one heal? Uh, we'll pop a super potion for now. Hopefully no bulk up. Ice punch, okay. Oh man, there's no way this kills. I gotta try, I gotta try it though. Come on, Jeff, your max special attack. That did nothing. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. And there he goes. Yeah, we're in very bad shape now. All right, here's my out. This is my out. Holy moly, dude. He is just hitting like a truck. I do not know how I get out of this. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, I have a hyper potion. Okay, okay. Here we go. I need to try and kill this thing. I, th I think this could be the most, potentially the most threatening thing left. Oh my God, dude. They just all have close combat. <laughs> oh, we're hanging on by a thread. Come on, crewmate. You can do this. Ugh, dang it. Okay, it does close combat. Let's see how much it does. Unfortunate. 
All right, I just have to hope Needle King can somehow clutch it up. Okay. Oh, there's still two more left. <laughs> oh, man. I think Earth Power is still my strongest. I, I think I just have to hope that I can kill this with Earth Power. Oh, man, that was a crit too. Holy moly. Now it's going to be faster. There's no way. Oh, life orb damage. Wait, hit him on top. So I think I have to sack into into heal. I, I need Lapras to at least take one hit. Close combat. OK, that's fine. That's actually perfect. We get the we get the defense drop. And now I think we have to hope that somehow Nido King can clutch it up. Just no triple axle. Close combat. Just live one. It's a resisted hit. Okay, yes. We made it out alive. <laughs> oh my god, what a disaster. Well, looks like we're pretty much starting from scratch now. Hey, maybe that trade paid off after all. Oh, did I forget to mention I was too lazy to do the puzzle to catch a Deoxys right before the fighting type gym? Yeah, that happened. Well, anyways, now it's time to see if our Lone King can pick up the pieces and lead us to victory. And the first piece that we got to pick up was... <laughs> She's back, baby! Welcome back home! <laughs> We're getting the gang back together again. Huh, that's convenient. And speaking of Pokemon coming back home. Oh, we're actually getting the team back together. Yo, we're getting the full team back. We're getting the Salivates. Bring them home. A Pokemon I was so happy to get back, uh, I just caught another one. And if you want to return to me like my pair of Salamence is, then be sure to subscribe. Go on. I know you want to be cool like Salamence. Anyways, one Growlithe encounter later and the team was one final piece away from yet again being complete. All there was to do now was try and find the one last encounter that was constantly evading us. <laughs> A classic. Look, I don't think this meme is ever going away, so let's just get used to him always being here. Welcome to the team, Onyx. I trust that you will be very valuable in leading us to the end. Finally, I was able to give our gift Nido King a fitting name, and would you look at that? Face to face with Watson, newly equipped with two ground types and two setup salamences, he stood absolutely no chance, and this game continues to play like a metronome, steadily swaying back and forth from gut riching to an absolute cakewalk. Needless to say, I'm excited to see what's next. At this point, I finally realized just how good the full rest stops were, so I started trying to route everything to get to those. Plus, with this path, I could explore this new location that I hadn't seen before. Well, I hope that we get something good here, I guess, because this is my last chance. <laughs> ah, yes. The strongest Pokemon known to man. Well, there was no way I could leave such a strong Pokemon just sitting there. So we added this Pog encounter to the team before gearing up for another grueling battle and ding, 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 you guessed it. The metronome has yet again swung back the other way, meaning this one is going to be a bruiser. And who better to leave us bruised and battered than an Emerald Kaizo familiar face, Roxanne. Uh, could, I, I guess this is a good way to scout out to see if it's got any uh, flying types in the back. Because I'm assuming it would probably switch it. Oh, didn't think about that one. We take it? <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay. So I'm just going to try and try and kill it with Dragon Claw. Yeah. Okay. We're not set up super well for this fight, um, all things considered. We don't have a whole lot of stuff that's good into uh, into rock types. Uh, I'm just going to try and kill this with Steelix here. I'm going to see how much this does. Ooh. Okay, we immediately get switch AI'd. Agron comes out. Oh, sure would be nice to have double kick right now. <laughs> I don't know how I kill this thing. I remember when I said I don't have any special attackers. Uh, well, here we go. All right, let's trap his ass in. Let's trap his ass. <laughs> Dang it! How was I supposed to know that he was gonna have Earthquake? 
All right, good job, Pog. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I gambled away my super ultra mega strong Pokemon for this nose pass. Eh, at least it made for a good sacrifice. <clears throat> Anyways. So now Aerodactyl's back in. Uh, all right, I'm just going to try and hit this. Or if it... Ooh, okay. Oh, so this isn't going to matter. Let's see how much this does. Holy moly, dude. God, Aerodactyl's a beast. Oh, this is horrible. After rocks, this this has to be the by far the hardest thing that we uh, that we'll have to face. Just given our team comp, I should have just hit it in the first place. This rock sand fight is going to be the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's just gonna go on forever. She has stuff that barely does any damage to me. I have stuff that d barely does any damage to her. Beautiful. Finally, we got to hit it with a ground type move. Holy moly. Now the question is, what does the shuckle have? <laughs> oh my god, we're never going to be able to kill this thing. Oh, that's true. I could stone edge. Uh, we might not have a choice. We might not have a choice. Let's see. We hit it. Does not kill. He wants to see more. He must see more. All right. We're going to we're going to get through. We're going to make it through. Beautiful. Holy, that was a slug. N <laughs> the death of one of our strongest soldiers aside, the Roxanne fight wasn't really hard, just incredibly annoying. It was certainly more of a war of attrition than a war of wits, which I feel like I've seen somewhere before. Let's go! Eh, probably not. Anyways, anticipating the metronome to swing back yet again, I expected the path to the seventh gym to be another easy one. Little did I know, the metronome got stuck on its way back, and my careless wandering around led to a very, very unfortunate death. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, dude. Why did I fight this guy? Jesus, dude. <laughs> my team is so not ready for this. And now we drag the claw. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this guy literally counters my entire team. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta live one. Yeah, I should have just killed him. That was so stupid. Oh my god. I should I could have just killed him. I don't know what I was thinking. Jesus Christ. That was my that was my secret sauce. Uh-oh. This was not good. Sure, I didn't fully wipe like I thought I would, but a couple of careless mistakes led to me losing my best Pokemon. I managed to pick up an Armaldo and an Omastar on my way through to the seventh gym because I needed something to try and fill the massive hole that was left by losing one of my two Salamences. And luckily, Norman stepped up to show us that the metronome was no longer stuck and had finally swung its way all the way back, allowing me to claim an easy seventh gym badge. Let's just hope this time it went so far in the other direction that it fully broke because I don't think my team can handle another big fight. And because I'd already fought all the the other gym leaders in Hoenn, this meant that the last one had to be Tate and Liza. I was absolutely terrified of what was to come next. Hey, what's this doing here? Oh, you're saying I get the opportunity to bring back one of the many fallen soldiers from this run? That means Salamence is back, baby. It's not the really good one that I carelessly threw away to a random NPC. It's actually the other really good one that I threw away on Norman for absolutely no reason. Anyways, thanks to that fateful encounter, I felt that I was all of a sudden very much back into this run. On the way to Tate and Liza, I happened to pick up a Banette, which should be perfect for the upcoming psychic type gym, so I was feeling even better about my chances. I made one final pit stop to make some last minute preparations and then, uh oh. So this Nurse Joy NPC will heal you for free exactly once during your entire run. A heal that I wasted on the pushover of a Norman fight. So now I had no way to fully heal my team for what could be the hardest fight that I've faced yet. Well, nothing I could do now. All there is left to do is overcome all the odds and come out victorious. And look, I don't even have to fight two at once. I only have to be one small child to be victorious. This should be easy. 
Wow. That'll do it. And in extremely unceremonious fashion, I had lost. Broken and battered by the hands of a certain Mr. Mime, I came up short of my goal to successfully beat Emerald Rogue. But that's just the nature of roguelikes, right? Sometimes victory just isn't in the hand you've been dealt. All that means is that I've got to come back even stronger. So be sure to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to the channel to follow along with my journey of getting my first successful attempt. And maybe I'll even spice things up a little.